In this video, I will explain my text installation, text lab installation, and how to use text lab. My text installation. My text is the version of LaTeX for Microsoft Windows. It consists of a set of tools to process text. Use an internet browser to open the following URL. Click on All Downloads. Click on Net Installer. If you have a 64 bits computer, select the 64 bits version. If you don't know, select the 32 bits version. Click on Download. Save and run the setup program. Accept the copying conditions and then click Next. Select Download MyTex, then click Next. Select Complete MyTex, then click Next. Choose a download source. When ready, click Next. Select a location to store MyTex, then click Next. Review the settings, then click the Start button. After downloading the setup files, open the location where MyTex was saved and double click the setup file. When the installation completes, use Windows Explorer to check that MyTex files were installed. TextLab Installation TextLab is a software used to simplify the creation and manipulation of latex documents. TextLab divides the document in small pieces that can be managed individually, helping the user to focus on just a single part of the document at a time. Use an internet browser to open the following URL. Click the download link for the latest version of TextLab. Save and run TextLab MSI. If you get any warnings about TextLab making changes in your computer, be sure to accept the installation. Click the Start button on the left bottom corner of the screen. Then, search for TextLab. How to create a TextLab document? Click the Start button on the left bottom corner of the screen. Then, search for TextLab. Click the TextLab icon to open the software. From the toolbar, click the New button. The Templates dialog will open. Select the article template. Select a name and a location. Avoid the use of special characters in the project location and the project name. Be sure to set the language because there is no way to change it later. Click the OK button when ready. TextLab will create a folder to store the files of your document. A new article document is shown. TextLab has four main panels, the Navigation panel, the Dictionary panel, the Content panel and the PDF View Panel. If you do not see the document in the PDF View Panel, click the MyTex Setup button. You can use the Installation Test buttons to find and fix the problem. Click the View Logs button to find and correct LaTeX problems. How to write equations using LaTeX LaTeX has two modes. 
the math mod. You can use this mod for equations. The text mod. You can use this mod for texts. You can use the dollar sign to activate the math mod. See the example. You can use two dollar signs to activate the math mod for equations and display the equation by itself in the line. Spend some time taking a look to the following online tutorials to know more about latex and equations. To insert an equation you can choose and edit an equation from the equation templates. Insert a new equation. Insert an aligned environment to insert a set of equations. To insert a symbol, click on the Symbol in Math Mod button. Click the Equation Templates icon to insert a template. How to edit a text lab document? The full document node is used to view the full document. You can click any node to edit it. Use this panel to edit the content of the node. Use this panel to view the part of the document you are editing. Right click the content panel to open the context menu. Use the Look it up in dictionary option from the context menu to use the online dictionaries. Double click a misspelled word to obtain suggestions. You may use the Edit with Microsoft Word button to edit any part of your document. To give format to some text, click the bold, italics, underline, font size and color button. You can add a new note using the Insert button in the toolbar. You can add a text node to include any type of latex environment that is not supported by TextLab. How to insert tables and figures? To insert a table, use the Table button. The Table Wizard will help you create a table. The Table Wizard will create the respective latex code for the table. Bitmaps. A bitmap is an image that stores the values of each pixel in an image. Bitmaps have a fixed resolution. Use a bitmap only for photographs. To insert a bitmap in latex, you need to export the image to EPS. A vector graphics image is a graphic that is stored as a sequence of commands to describe the image, that is EPS, SVG, CDR or EMF. Vector graphics are perfect for diagrams, schematics or engineering figures. You can create a vector graphics image using CorelDRAW, Adobe Illustrator, AutoCAD or Ink escape. To insert a figure, use the Figure button from the toolbar. Use the tools for image and PDF processing to convert an image to EPS, manipulate PDF documents. How to manage cross-references? The cross-reference mechanism allows making a reference to sections, figures, equations, tables, computer programs, etc. References example. You must set a label or tag to each node in your document so that you can make a reference to the node. Use the Insert Reference button to insert a reference to a section, figure, equation, etc. in the document. There are two methods to manage the list of references. The bibliography, 
This method includes the bibliography in the document. Bibliography. This method uses an external database file. Use the Insert Site button to cite a book, an article, etc. Any document includes the bibliography note. If you want to use a VIP database file, you need to delete the bibliography note. When the user clicks the Insert Site button, when a document does not have the bibliography note, it will prompt to create or open a VIP database file. You can add a bibliography note by using the Insert button in the toolbar. You can insert a site from the VIP database. You can edit, delete, search or add items to the database.